Wish we had an R5 when we came across this. Or maybe if you remember to use force sprint. Oh, let it go! I was tired and I'd just done a mega jump. Oh, your widow went with Tywood. Right, so who's going to betray the Mandalorians? Huh? The last episode was called The Spies and we only know of one. Oh. I reckon mm -hmm. probably Grogu. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I see you two have become as thick as thieves. No, I reckon it's the armor. She's working for Gideon. What? Yeah. They have the same horned helmet. Like Maul? Oh, it's not gonna be her. I'll take a tenner on the armor, five on axe woves, and the other woman Mandalorian. <sighs> oh, force, give me strength. Then I'll pump a couple of credits on one of the giant chickens. My coffee! They have built-in walkie-talkies. Look at the range on those things. I feel like they need to raise the minimum amount of guards to escort a dangerous prisoner. But we put some string on his hands. That should have helped. Yeah, but even with high-quality string, a guy who is known to be an incredibly versatile, highly skilled warrior, it too seems not enough. Even Moff Gideon has to make cuts somewhere. You watched the finale of The Last of Us. Yeah? Or Joel, the guy that looks like Mando. Ah, oh, yeah, very similar situation. Oh. Lethal single dads that are highly incentivized to escape just needs to be looked at, logistically. No, 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 no. I'm okay. Can he make you say yes or no? Yes. How? He just twists my left nipple for yes. Or on the right one for no. No. Something else. <sighs> just realized we're probably never going to see the torture chamber in conference room six. From a betting man, I'd say they just play end ups on repeat. Are you with me? No. Dan, come in. Receive. Where are you? How are they all linked up? It's like a Mandalorian Zoom call going on in there. It's frequencies, Obi-Wan. What do you mean? I don't know how it works. It's just frequencies. How does the system know to make it green? They probably got someone on CCTV who's manually inputting the colors. Maybe a pattern or some little ears. So... No, I'll take care of him myself. Such a Vader ripoff. Sorry, I don't speak binary. You've understood him this whole time. And Grogles does a little squeal and you seem to know exactly what he means. A droid that's scared of heights. He's even got shaky yeah, legs. He programmed his fear circuit. Healthy fear of falling would likely preserve lifespan. Yeah, that's actually true, to be fair. What? I don't know. It's got a weird deja vu, but for something that hasn't happened yet. It's him! He's a spy! Look at that look! I don't know if there was another spy. They may have just named the last one badly. Uh, 40 quid on that guy. Gotta hand it to him. Don't like Mandalorians, but that was pretty damn cool. What are you doing? I'm doing the DiCaprio meme. Oh, someone get me a beer for this. It's 8.30 in the morning. Oh, come on, just do it. It'll be great for the thumbnail. No, just use Photoshop. How's it doing? Oh, nobody's liked it. They haven't even liked this video. Why does this feel like a video game? Highly incentivized lethal single father battles through video game style level in real life. Now that's originality. Five, five. next you. <laughs> Wish we had an R5 when we came across this. Or maybe if you remember to use force sprint. Oh, my force! Let it go! I was tired and I'd just done a mega jump. Can't believe you're dredging this up again. Oh, your widow went with Tywood. <sighs> Level cleared. Well, now for the final boss. <laughs> That's their security. <laughs> Little Chihuahua guard dog droids. 
Let's not get in. Oh, my force. In this level, are they going to have to fight 20 naked Moff Gideons? Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, that was easy. You found underground gardens. No. We planted farms. Classic Bo Katan. Always putting a foot. <laughs> Someone works really hard on their garden. Oh, you found a really nice garden in Stoneland. These are the old species indigenous to Mandalore. Yeah, here we've got some uh, mythomatos. And uh, uh, yeah, here you can see some mythodendrons in full bloom. Lady Kreeve, your reinforcements have arrived. Here we go. Betrayal incoming. Imagine if they just got the wrong frequency or whatever. And everyone could just listen to their exact plan. <laughs> Looks like it's not Lady Mando, Thor. She has some pretty insane hand-eye coordination. Oh, no, she's playing the long con. You gotta take out a few of your own guys before turning on them. Why does Din look like he's picked up his new jetpack from a mid-2000s Apple store? These are so good. Fun shape. Tasty crunch. It's an imperial jetpack. Basically the same thing. Just saying Apple are like the Empire. I don't know what the Empire is, but yes. Mm. What are you doing? This is mine. I've been looking for this. It's not just a toy for you to put up on display. We spend months meditating over which components. No, no, this isn't yours. Else, this is just know. a highly accurate replica. Charlie, these are considered our most prized possession. I think I would know a replica if I saw. I one. promise that I got it online. Okay. I just thought we could put them up in the flat to remind us of your past. This one's yours. Uh, this one's Obi's, and well. Maybe I shouldn't have got this one. You would bring the very sword that was used to kill me into the flat and put it on display. I mean, look here. These are the first replicas to be both fully accurate and also accept electronics. They've used an actual on-screen prop as reference. Many features and small imperfections like the grips for Qui-Gon have been individually measured and have never before been replicated. They really wanted to match the original look and feel with custom-made materials. So right now, this is a limited edition run of these hilts, but if you click on the link in my description, you can get your hands on each individually, or you can get the Jewel of the Fates bundle, including Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon's, and Darth Maul's lightsabers. My clothes were finally going to be perfect. I never had the force. <laughs> he sounds like he's going to cry. <laughs> My clones. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> they were thoroughbreds. They ate only the best corn fed lost pollo semanos chicken. I was isolating the potential. To wield the force. The force. You can't isolate the potential. The force is more of a way of life. No, it's not. Oh, uh, okay. I was just trying to sound cool. You smothered them before they could draw their first breath. <laughs> just 20 more naked Moff Gideons run out now. All that time and money on your new Beskar suit and you forget to put grip on your shoes. Three quid's worth of rubber, that stops you fighting like Bambi. Oh my force, I mean I was joking, but it really is like a boss fight at the end of a level. No, no, no. That was your plan, to try and reason with them. <laughs> hmm. You know when they took it, do you think they included in the job description may have to fight a baby three on one? You're pretty badass to be fair. Betrayal imminent? She just shoot rockets out of her knees. You know Mandalorians, sometimes less is more. <laughs> you underestimate our power. <laughs> you are a slow learner. I've got this. Go save your kid. How did she know about the kid? Yeah, walkie talkie, probably. Or like the force. Quite. The force. I'm not really sure I get how the force works. It's not the equivalent of a walkie talkie. 
again with the mole this time. Mandalorians, Jedi, just be yourself, Gideon. Get your own style. Stop copying all of us. <laughs> Obi-Wan, his fate will be the same as ours. You're too cute to murder, aren't you? <laughs> aren't you? Aren't you, little... What was that? He pushed her and then just went like this afterwards. <laughs> About to whip a baby in the face. Teamwork. <laughs> Puts us to shame. What do you mean? I mean? They won two on three. We barely beat someone two versus one. Yeah, but we still got him. I got him. Oh, right. So, oh, you got him. I tired him out. Why are you trying to devalue one of my biggest achievements? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because your biggest achievement resulted in the death of your best friend and master. Oh, I was your best friend. Hand over the dark saber, and I'll give you a warrior's death. Surely that's the opposite of a warrior's death. Surrender, and you will die with honor. What? Oh. Your mythical, legendary blade crumbles like it was made by Toys R Us. I can't remember a lightsaber that broke because it was gripped too tightly. Yeah, but you do struggle to open jam jars. The dark saber is gone. You've lost everything. Oh yeah. Mandalorians are weak once they lose their trinkets. No, I'm actually starting to kind of like this Moff Gideon character. That's a real high-risk military strategy. kamikaze a giant ship into the place where all your surviving kin are currently locked in an intense battle and barely leaving an answering phone message to warn them. We're rivals, but now we're friends. Ooh! Shield, blaster, force. Look at what a great team we are. Which fingers? <laughs> I'll take my Los Poyos Hermanos extra crispy. Like moths to a flame. Damn, yours is better. Oh, I'm sure they'll back to tank him to somehow return. Um... What? My master? Uh, with those burns. Oh, wow. You see, kids? If we all work together and use our range of abilities, with teamwork, we can do anything. Yay! That's a really good message for anyone. And you know that Star Wars is meant for kids, Obi-Wan. Oh. Bet Bo-Katan thinks her crappy little shield is doing it. She always took credit for things she didn't do. Yeah, her song will probably have a verse about it. I swear on my name and the names of the ancestors. I swear on my name and the names of the ancestors. Oh, ferric me. If this kid ends up taming the Mythosaur, I'm done. I'm out. Well, there's 13 minutes left. Including credits. I reckon that's enough time for a mythosaur taming. He is no longer a foundling. Add him to the song. Grogu. He is too young to speak, so he is too young to take the creed. Can't he take the creed in those dumb little baby babbles that everyone seems to understand? If his parent gave permission. But his parents are far from here. <sighs> well, that's season four set up. Eight episodes of hijinks looking for Yaddle. But you ain't gonna find her. That was cold, Obi-Wan. Then I will adopt him as my own. Well, can we adopt him, Obi-Wan? Can we? Please? What do you think social services will say with your record? You are now Din Grogu. Mandalorian apprentice. More like always thinking about his dinner, Grogu. Now he's just getting one new name a season. I 
think maybe you the guys being friends. Book of Tam's gonna be pig sick if that happens. And that makes me happy. I, I just, quite no one betrayed anyone. Pay up. Oh, damn. I thought if I kept quiet, you'd forget. I was still trying for a betrayal. All right. Also, this ancient weapon that seemed so important just got crumbled to dust for no reason. And nobody seems to care where it oh, is. Oh, Bo-Katan, don't you see? You never needed the dark saber at all. The real dark saber is right here. What, Beska? No, your heart. Something stupid like that. That's some seriously dyspraxic clapping. You want to work for the New Republic? On a case by case basis. An independent contractor. The Mandalorian is going freelance. Aren't all bounty hunters freelance? You ask any bounty hunter, worst bit about being freelance, chasing invoices, literally. Scrap assassin droid head? I need it for parts. Oh no, no, no. I it for you as well. Your new marshal, your new marshal of Navarra. Is that Cara Dune? No, it's the Ferroking IG-13 Pro Max with slightly better battery life and ever so slightly better camera. After all that, everything that he's done, and that's all he gets, a two-room bungalow. Bigger than this flat in Croydon, London. And how many people live here? Well, there's me, you, though you don't take up much room. Anakin sleeps in the back to tank. Then there's Gandalf, young Elrond, and Boromir. Oh, and Charlie. Thank you. Bloody, bloody forgetting me. <laughs> Such a banger of a truth. <laughs> ah.